What's up guys, JR Solo IGO, and today we're revisiting 2021, the 10 of Ancient Battles. Um, this set didn't age the best, but it does have a lot of deck building stuff that we need. So we're gonna go dive into it. We've got eight of these. Uh, there's three mega packs in each, so we'll try and skip over the commons as fast as we can and get straight into it. All right guys, let's do this. All right, let's do this. We're trying to pull some uh, deck building stuff. Um, for the most part, there's not too much value in the set left. Uh, as you know, with the 10s, there's no chase rarities in them ever. It's just prismatics and ultras, at least for the last few years. Um, I don't know if there's card trick on these. We'll just go through it straight up. Uh, mutually afford destruction. Ritual. Ricka Queen Strena. Deep Seep Araya, the first super rare. In for Noble Arms, Randall. Uh, we are looking for the Prismatic Secret Rares. In particular, I think we still need Parallel Exceeds and Dogmatic Punishments, mostly for deck building purposes. Oh, and Zeus, okay. All right, so yeah, Zeus, um, Tactics, Talents, and uh, Noble, not Noble, but a Cross Out, a Cross Out Designator. Those three are the Ultras that at least hold some kind of value. So we'll gladly get some of our money back with a Zeus, put that aside. Actually, we'll put that right up here on display. And then that should do it for the pack. There's only one Prismatic in each one. So the remainder is uh, commons. Awesome, that's a nice first pack. I'll have to see what the Ultra one's going for right now. I have no idea because it was also just reprinted in um, Battles of Legend, Monstrous Revenge as a Seeker Rare. Uh, was it a prismatic secret? No, it's, it's just a regular secret rare. Curse of Dragon. But yeah, we're mostly diving into this set for deck building stuff, so. Melfi's. We're, our goal is to pretty much make every deck for the channel. Um, so we have options for gameplay and options for deck profiles for people when they want them. Tri Brigade, Arugal. Okay. Oh, and then uh, Baron Blossom. Nice. Uh, we'll need that because we'll be making trap brigades and bird up, of course. Put that over there. True light. I think we already have this for our blue eyes deck, but it's not bad. Joyous Melfius. Yeah, we definitely need a dogmatic punishment for Asmatic, and then we need a parallel XC for trap tricks. I wouldn't mind some more tactics talents though. Deep Sea Sentry. Mutually Afford Destruction. Oops. Lingaribo, I have so many of these. RIP Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. And for the Prismatic, we have Lulu. We'll make, oh, then we got a uh, triple tactics talents. Okay, so we're pulling some decent value here early on. Again, not sure what this is an ultra because this has been reprinted to the ground here recently. We got reprinted in Mavens and it also got reprinted in, um, or was it just Mavens? Maybe it was just Mavens, I don't know. It's gotta have some value actually, now that I think about it. Blizzard, nice. So we already got a Zeus and we already got a Tactics Talents in uh, basically the equivalent of one tin. There's three packs per tin. Yeah, that was the first two packs, right? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. It was first two or three. These are relatively cheap compared to the 2022 tins for sure. Used to be people were going for the um, Nobleman of Cross Out, but that got reprinted in the 2022 tins. And then also has a higher rarity. It was a prismatic instead of the ultra. Win the wind channeler. Okay. What's this? We got Gizmic Kaku, the Supreme Shining Sky Stag. That's a crazy looking one. And we got another Zeus. Let's go. All right. The value train is definitely in town right now. This is not bad at all. <laughs> Dragon Maid Tiding. Okay. We'll use that for our Dragon Maid deck. 
so we don't keep bothering Monty to come on with his. Or maybe we can get a mirror match. That'd be cool. Double Zeus and Tactics Talents. Pulling way more value on our Ultras right now than we are on our Prismatics. But I guess, I don't think there's actually any Prismatic in this set that's worth more than Zeus or Tactics Talents anyways. So we're are technically already pulling the best cards. But Zeus is always good for deck building, so gladly take some of those. Catapult Turtle. Ah, keep striking out. We need the Dogmatica Punishment more than we need the Parallax Seed. We got Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, Shimmering Scraper. Dogmatica Maximus, another True Light. And then... Bolt. What was your guys' favorite card from this set? That used to be a far more desirable. I remember digging into it, looking for that card right there. Never could get it. Alright, we got Titano Cider. Juritron Beta Rastaban. Oh, we got Fusion Deployment. This is actually another one that we needed for a um, Brandon Despia deck. We needed a playset to match because we had like some Ultras and then some Prismatics. It just kind of looked kind of, um, yeah, it just bothers me. But I know some people like it, that's fine. Okay, nice. Titanic Cloud, the Ash Dragon is Ultra. All right, on to the next one. So we're definitely getting some stuff we need now. I forgot about Fusion Deployment. I think we also need some uh, Tri Brigade Fractals. Um, there's quite a few things from the set that we actually need. So that's why I wanted to go dive into this set and revisit it just so we can get it out of the storage closet and uh, put it to use for the channel. All right, Fiendish Portrait. Another Rastafan. And we have the Dogmatic of Punishment. Nice, okay. That's our first one. I believe we already own one, so we, now we need one more at least. Uh, we'll put that in front of Baron Blossom, uh, Orcus Mech Knight, and Dogmatica Fleur de Lis. Okay. Deep Sea Prima Donna. I used to love Deep Sea Diva back in the day. Out of Raging Battle. He's really good in Edison format, too. Doyan. Shout out Monty with his Ignisters. Artillery. Okay, we got Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. Um, this is not about. Oh, and then the Ultra Fallen of Abaz. Okay, this is a really good pack. And a Crossout Designator. Oh god, this pack is really nice. Uh, it's nice considering you know what we pulled. However, I don't think we need any of this. We have prismatics, we have ultimates, and then we have ultimates. But this is not a bad pack, nonetheless. We'll be able to get back some of our value. We'll sell this off on TCG. Um, we'll just cover up a few that have been up for a while. And we're actually pulling kind of cracked. <laughs> If we were to get the original value of uh, these cards back when they were heavily desired out of this set, this is just insane. Like, Crossout Designator was 40 bucks at one point for the Ultra. It might have even been higher, to be honest. Remember when Triple Tactics Talents was 40 out of this set? Like, these, there's some cards that have held some value out of this set for sure. Again, the only issue is some of them have fallen out of play, and a lot of them have been reprinted to the ground. Economy's always good about that, right? Keeping things somewhat semi-affordable for the casual player base. Another Lulu, all right. Ad Emancipator Researcher. Yeah, we'll have to make Ad Emancipators too. Pretty much making every deck, so we're gonna see what we can get from this set, what we can use. Nice. All right, next one. Yeah, her pools have actually been kind of decent. It's kind of crazy, actually. There ain't gonna be no jump scares, though, with uh, 
you know, Starlight Rares or anything like that. All we got is Prismatics and Ultras. I, w I, d I would say, though, if something like that happened, I will definitely jump out of my seat, but it's probably highly unlikely. RIP Super Heavies. Oh, Parallel Exceed, nice. Oh, and a Tactics Talents. This is a good pack, good pack. So now we got two Tactics Talents, and we got a Parallel Exceed, which we need, and a Nerval, nice as an Ultra. Yeah, yeah, we're actually pulling some nice packs here. I need to stop talking crap about this set. We're pulling some good staples and good value. Because I'll have to double check the Tactics Talents, but they're at least worth something still. Because they were only reprinted as an Ultra out of Mavens also. And I believe they're pretty expensive because Mavens has been holding its value really high. So it's hard for people to rip sealed product looking for Tactics Talents. Just because the acquisition cost is fairly high for that set. Noctovision Dragon, that's good for some deck building. Uh, we got a Gamma Elton, L. We got Drytron Gamma Eltanen. Uh, 2021 tens, you know, you gotta remember history of Yu-Gi-Oh. 2021 Drytrons are huge, so they were getting reprinted in the set. Originally out of Genesis Impact, of course. Win the Wind Chandler, Dogmatica Maximus, and another True Light. We are not short on True Lights whatsoever. All right. So we still need more Dogmatica Punishments, more Fusion Employments, more Parallax Seeds. And we will take all these busted ultras that we've been getting. This has been insane value. Gookie, Torpedo, Penguin Brave. Oh, that's a nice artwork. We stopped to admire that real quick. Nice. Tri Brigade. Tri Brigades were also bigger on this time, so that's something to remember as well. Super Heavy Samurai. And another Parallel Exceed, nice. We're pulling what we need, and then a Picari. That's cool for the uh, Ignister strategy. We'll make that deck as well. All right, so we need one more Parallel Exceed. This has been a success so far today, and we still have six, we still have 12 of these left. We're halfway through now. So we need one more Parallel Exceed, one more Dogmatic Punishment. I think one more fusion deployment, and from there we'll be good. Oh, it's just kind of cool looking. Yeah, Q. All right. Infernoble Knight, Captain Roland, and another Dogmatic Ecclesia of the Virtuous, Ghost Meat Girls, and Karas. Okay, struck out there, but Dogmatica nonetheless, pretty good. We could sell her for some value or. Maybe we make a uh, keep a playset for a second more casual deck. Put her in maybe uh, Invoke Dogmatica. We gotta make that deck as well. All right. Another Roland. Uh, we got Virtual World Shenshin. That's a good one. Uh, we got another Baron Blossom. We need that. And then we got Piercing in the Darkness, okay. All right, at least we got one card we needed. We'll put that right up front. Redeemable Jar, I love the Jar cards. And Dogmaticas were popular around this time. Eldlich was popular around this time. Uh, this card was insane around this time. Wasn't this the set that, it, no, it released out of Price Destiny, it was a, uh, Crossout Designator that I released in this set. But it was reprinted in this set, so that was very important. A lot of crucial reprints for the time. Artillery Catapult Turtle. Isn't this using the Gaia decks? Yeah, it is. Gaia the Force. Alright, let's see what we get. Fractal! We needed a Fractal. We're getting what we need. We have called on the Konami Gods, and they are answering. Opening the Spirit Gates for that, uh... Sacred Beast stack when we make it, that's pretty cool. All right, Fractal, you can go over there on the left. You gotta protect that side, because you're pretty strong. Linker Bell. Hey, looking forward, I wonder what they're gonna put in this year's tank. It's probably a lot of stuff from last year, but they snuck a lot of the stuff I thought they were gonna reprint in this last Battles Legend set. 
like the um, punks and you know some of that stuff. I guess they'll just hit what they miss, like the bestials. All right, Melfi of the Forest. Hopefully, Lebellion gets reprinted this year. Well, here we got reprinted as a quarter century seeker, but it doesn't really count to me. And we got a Revolt. That's nice. Okay, we got the Prismatic. And R.I.P. Chaos, Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. That card's absolutely broken. Generic one tuner, one non tuner, excavate five, add a darker light, and then send the rest to the graveyard. This goes crazy. Uh, card goes so hard. Definitely deserves its place in the ban list. But I know a lot of us miss it out there because that card really enabled a lot of combo lines and super free to go into, super fun to use. It wasn't really impressive anyway, it was just kind of uh, too generic. Too generic and too good. Back when uh, they let Fairy Tale Snow off the ban list last year for a little bit, <laughs> hitting a snow is just insane. Alright, let's see what we get here. Another cross out, okay. Got some value there. Come on, cross out. There you go. Alright, Infernoble Knight, Emperor Charles. It's a Witchcrafter card, so we'll have to make that deck as well. Alright, guys, we're down to seven more packs. Let's see what we can pull here. I like these mega packs. You know, I always struggle opening up the, uh, the foil. The foil packs, and uh, these ones are just much easier to open. Melfi Puppy. I we'll have to make this deck. This deck is surprisingly strong. Maybe that's Cope, but I don't know. Uh, it can do some stuff. Another Link Karibo for the staples. Ah, we got the Dogmatica Punish and a Zeus! This is a really good pack. And we pulled three Zeuses so far. And we got. Is that the last Dogmatica Punishment we need? Maybe? I don't remember. And then we got another one of these guys, another Zeus. And yeah, we're pulling some good value. Zeus will probably eventually go up again anyway, so I'll probably hold that at, you know, $15 mark maybe. Wait for it to get back to that again, sell those off. Keep a couple for deck mega game, maybe one or two. Well, Zeus was just reprinted as a secret. Or maybe I'll just get rid of this as fast as I can. Rose, okay. And then one of my all-time favorites, we got uh, Adam Emancipator Risen Dragite. Great for the Sword Soul strategy and pretty much any synchro deck that can put a water in the grave. Just a free uh, negate, spell trap negate. Rose looking cool as the Prismatic Seeker Rare. We got Virtual World Juju. All right, not a bad pack. Raiders Knight, look at the art on that one. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Lifeless Leafish. Mister that never sees play. Jenny. Gaia. Alright. Um, yeah, let's see what we can get next. We still need... What do we still need? We still need Parallel Exceed. Maybe one more Dogmatic or one more Fusion Deployment. I don't know. Even if we don't need them, we'll... Uh, We'll take them for deck building, so let's see what we can get here. Armory Call. Melfi of the Forest. Our third Dogmatic Ecclesia is the Virtuous. So we definitely have a backup playset of this. Um, oops. That we can use for any deck. Not bad. Love pulling the playsets. Alright, we got. Uh, Gersu, the Orcus Mech Knight. Uh, Dogmatica, another Fleur de Lis. That'll round off that pack. Jack in the Hand. That's, <laughs> that's a name always gets me, but that's a um, decent staple for searching level ones. Some people like to play in the Flunderies. I personally don't think it's really necessary, but some people just swear they, they lose if they don't draw Rubina, and I guess that's true. But with how many ways you get to Rabina, you know, map, drawing it itself, uh, prosperity, duality, just, yeah, just, I don't know why you're doing it. Advent Adventure, there's so many ways to get to it. If you're not playing a tight 40 and you're consistently not drawing Rubina, I just don't know what to tell you. Your math is not your friend, but it doesn't mean you need to add a Jack and the Hand to the deck. Ice Dragon's Prison. 
Alright, we didn't really get anything we needed there. Um, I guess we can take some IDPs. I have some Ultras from Mama, but it would be nice to have um, maybe a play set of Prismatics. What's the high rarity on that? Isn't it just the OG Ultra, maybe? I don't know if there's a high rarity of Dog I Ice Dragon Prism. I'll have to dust off my Eldlick deck and see what I can do with that. The deck hard loses to Bestial, so that's why I've been afraid to pull it out and show it on Friday Night Duel Night. Plus, it's not just not fun watching a uh, Eldlick sometimes, but we'll probably dust it off for at least one game. We got another Tactics Talents, that's good value. I believe that's our third one of those, so we just got another place out of that. Yeah, we're overall pulling pretty good value. And a lot of cards we can generically just use in our decks. Another uh, Dragon Maid Tiding, that's pretty good. Alright, so now we're down to the last two packs. Um, we'll do this one last, for no particular reason, because there's literally no chase cards that we're going after right now. See if we can get another fusion employment, see if we can get another dogmatical punishment, another parallax seed. Two more chances. Otherwise, we're gonna have to order them or see if we can trade for them. Ah, invoked. Another true light. Yeah, this pack was a major brick. Not even anything with any kind of value that we can trade up for. Oh well. Can't win them all, right? Alright, guys, last pack magic. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, dive into history here, back in 2021. Set's almost two years old now. Yeah, we'll see what was good for the time and what still is good. Driver Gate is one of my personal favorites. All right, we'll, do, we'll read everyone for this one. Theory of the Kairu Shen. Melfi Caddy. Squeak Knight. Dark Lord Nurgle. We got Phaedrin, the Winds of Mischief. Red Rain. For our first super rare, we have Infernoble Knight Captain Roland. We have Virtual World QB Shen Shen. And we have Baron Blossom. Ah. That doesn't mean we have three of these, though. I don't know if people played as a three of them. And we got Chaos Ruler, so that's definitely not needed. And Bakari, uh, that can be used for our Mr. deck, so that's a good one. And then another Dragon Maid Tidings, we have three of those. AI at All Reborn, uh, Proofiness of the Tactical Trapper, Joyous Melfi's, Link Burst, Execution of the Contract, and Salaman Great Zeboid X. And that'll wrap it up for this today's pack opening, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, if you made it this far, go ahead and leave a banana emoji down below. Appreciate you guys for all the support as always. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Peace out, y'all.